Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Madonna. My daughter, Kate, said, Dad, you're probably going to cry, right? And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. So just deal with it. I got some mad emotions going. So, um, But there's, I want to thank PNC Bank. Thank you for, so much for that PNC Plaza, for having me out there. Brad Alberts, Daryl Ray, thank you for, guys for everything. Um, it's hard to get into words what this, this has meant. I'm thankful for Dirk for saving me a spot up there in the plaza. I couldn't think of a better guy to be up there next to, but uh, so thanks, Dirk. Uh, Omri, beautiful. God, I can't wait to see it, but from your past work, I can't, uh, I'm sure it's gonna look tremendous. So thank you for all your work you guys did in Chicago, getting this done. Uh, Dan Stuckel, wow, he's, he's done this since 10, day one, probably in the works for eight to 10 years, I think, for, we've been talking about this, so. Um, appreciate it, Dan. Thank you for everything. My teammates, man, I can go down the word. I had some good teammates. They made me look good, really, on a lot of nights that I didn't look good. So they, I thank them for that. The coaches. Bob Gainey, Rick Wilson, Ken Hitchcock, Dar Doug Jarvis. Uh, I can go on and on and on about my coaches, uh, the trainers. Um, God, I'm just going on and on for everybody. But, uh, you know, I want to thank the fans. Boy, my 30 years ago. Thirty years ago, we got on a plane in 1993 to come here and not knowing what to expect, and we feel like we, five years later, we gave you a Stanley Cup in 1999. We went from one rink in Valley Ranch to about over 20 now in the Metroplex, and uh, we feel we've turned Dallas into a hockey town, For so thank you guys. wrap this up. So finally, my family. <laughs> Allison does deserve a statue out there too, so. <laughs> Dealing with us six people in this family is a lot of work, but uh, I can't thank you enough, honey. Thank you for everything. My kids, Jack, Kate, Reese, Luca, Win. <laughs> you guys are the love of my life. I, I couldn't ask for a better ending to my life, my career, my time here in Dallas. Thank you for everybody and for making this so great. What's your question? Yeah. Hard answer. <laughs> <laughs> Just so what you think, think of that statue? Just the look of it. Yeah, looked great. I hadn't seen it anything. No sneak peeks or nothing, so it looked great. I think that that was the photo we chose, and you know we all kind of came to agreement on that one. So we had a we had a handful of them, but we thinned it out to that one. But it turned out great. It said in the video the process of.
picking that one moment. How hard is that? Because I mean, you, 15, 1800 games. I know. Yeah, it was uh, – didn't want to be the one with the, the shot or the cup or something, just something unique that kind of, uh, you know, maybe, you know, explain my style, my skating. So um, we, we all kind of flipped through them, and we just kind of randomly came to that. Stukes and Brad and I just kind of came to that, that shot. So it, uh, it, was a, it was an easy one after that. Great, great. They're all they're all same as they were back then. You know, just a lot of strong personalities and a lot of fun guys. It's just uh, it's always great to catch up and see all those guys and share some memories because it was uh, it was a fun time back then here. When you look at the current team and, and you see them building towards something hopefully special this season, what do you what do you see as kind of your lasting impact even through to today? I mean, Jamie Ben's captain and Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's, you know, there's, there's growth. There's this turnover. A lot of new faces, not new players, and they got a great, great young team here and a lot of good skill. So I, I think they're gonna, they're gonna make some maybe some noise this spring and maybe make a run for it. So, um, but yeah, there's, <clears throat> it's been fun watching Jamie's career and you know being with him the first couple of years he got into the league and how he's grown and into his role here as part of the organization. So it's been been fun to watch. So, um, yeah, I just you think about legacy and what you've meant on the ice, but I think what we accomplished off the ice with kids playing the game and the growth of hockey in Texas was a lot more important and a lot more satisfying than what we did on the ice. What's, oh, go ahead, uh, what's today been like? We talked about the kids and everything. It's just, <coughs> this is who you are now, and it's, I mean, it's, <laughs> It's a juggling act, but it's also really cool. <laughs> it is. It's a, it's a juggling act, to say the least. Uh, but we did the Grand Marshal uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade, and I think we had a lot of fun there, and that was kind of the highlight. But, yeah, unfortunately, the weather didn't permit. But, you know, it was nice being in the building, sharing with all the fans and having them a chance to, to hear what uh, we all had to say rather than a couple hundred people. So um, it might have turned out okay. I know it's uh, pretty neat. He's such a great, he's a great guy, and you know we've had uh, <clears throat> made a lot of great memories uh, here in this town and reunion and American Airlines Center and very similar past, I guess, with uh, with how our organizations changed over times and and winning and uh, but he's 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 a solid guy. I mean, just couldn't imagine being up there with uh, with anybody else. And um, but yeah, it's been thirty years been. It's, it's, Amazing! It's been 30 years. I just can't throw that number out there. It's been been gone fast. And to be one of the top American players of all time and inspiring <coughs> in this area because you know you, when you got here there wasn't a lot of rinks and now there's a lot of rinks and a lot of people point to you because of that. Yeah, we I mean we we hit the community hard and the kids and you know back then hockey was really tough to watch on TV so we felt that we needed to get the fans in the seats and kind of show the game in person and I think we. We accomplished that. We promoted it pretty hard to get fans that reunion, and I think as that uh, <clears throat> was a success, fans loved it, and then we had a great product and some of the funnest runs we had in a long time, those four or five years here, and, um, you know, so it, was, uh, it was a fun place to play for those times in Dallas. And But, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's been a whirlwind a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a little. It's a little more imitant. Uh, it was a little bit more, uh, you know, intimate outside, I guess, uh, than rather than seventeen thousand people. So it's uh, plus I had to shorten my time to talk a little bit. So, but that didn't didn't help. I was silent there for a while, but it was emotional. So it's, you, you have a flood of memories and thoughts and. Being with the the family and kids and everything, just seeing them to to witness this is uh, it was uh, it was emotional. Yeah. Yes, Jack. Uh, you don't have a question. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. I told Reese I had a funny story, but she won't let me tell it. Can I tell it? Can I tell it? Please. You sure? Yes, you love it. No. Oh. Do it. I want to hear it. All right. I want to hear it. No. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. I won't. But they love Mighty... Let's leave it at... You love Mighty Ducks? Yeah, we barely watch it. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. I mean, we like it, but we barely watch it. Okay. Thanks. The Mighty Ducks? I don't know. I know. A lot of people, uh, a lot of kids, the generation has changed a little bit, so they, they, they remember me more for that than anything. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thank you.